Steamworks API. The fact that there's even support for Python is kind of a miracle. All thanks to the awesome contributors who made this awesome module called Steamworks Pi. While you don't need this to get your game on Steam, implementing it does enable cool stuff like achievements, Steam overlay, and other cool stuff with Steam. I actually did not even consider doing this, cause like, you know, I'm lazy, and there aren't many people who have actually published a Pi game game on Steam, let alone implementing the API. So chances are, there aren't even any elaborate tutorials out there for dummies like me. And besides the more complicated process that I'm not too familiar with, who uses Steam over there anyway? And then my non-programmer friend sent me the link to the Steamworks Pi GitHub page and was like, Start it here bro, I believe in you. This, this is what hit the nail on the head for me. <sighs> I'm gonna look into using Steamworks API with Pi game. If I don't make it back, I'll like, tell my family that I love them. Okay, so I actually checked out the page and read the docs like a man, and surprisingly, it only took like 3 hours of confusion until I successfully implemented this module. It did not cause errors when I run the game, and I believe that's when you know it works. And then it hit me. I need OpenGL for the overlay to work. It took another few hours for me to deal with the OpenGL stuff. Basically, Steam Overlay automatically shows up on an OpenGL display when the program is running. And since my game uses a PyGame display, Steam Overlay doesn't show up. To fix this, I had to use the Py OpenGL module, which allows me to use the OpenGL with, well, Python. Then I had to turn the PyGame surface that I draw all the game objects on into an OpenGL texture which allows it to show up on the main window, which is an OpenGL display. When the Steam Overlay finally pops up at the bottom right after I pulled up the game window, I let out a sigh of relief and went on to take a break by playing the game in full screen. Then I noticed that there's no screen tearing. Luckily, Pygame has an option to initialize the game window with vSync, and it causes severe slowdown. Then I found out that it only slows down if I turn it on in window mode. Why does this happen? Heck if I know, I'm not a tech person. And that's how I got Steamworks API to work with Pygame. And no, I'm not gonna be the one who makes the tutorial. You can stop typing now. The ducks are there. Go read it. I believe in you. But before ending this day vlog, I would like to talk about some cool stuff that has happened. My dudes, I have graduated from high school. Which means I have around 3 months of nothing to do until college. And as you may know, I've changed the release date on my game from summer 2022 to late 2022, which is still pretty vague. But if you want to know the more precise date, I want to finish it before I go to college, which is like September when that happens. And on the topic of game dev, if you know me, I either do develop videos around more than 5 minutes long, or just mostly unedited short clips of the game with references to the Wednesday meme in the title. But what I'm going to do from now on is doing short devlogs that are no more than 5 minutes long, which is shorter than this video, because whenever devlogs are too long, I get bored of making them, and just stop, you haven't touched me them again. Plus, it takes like really long to rehearse the voiceover. Steam overlay auto map. Steam overlay over. Steam overlay automatically shows up. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this devlog. This may or may not be the final video with me talking about the technical stuff, with the game, since I'm kinda done with them a long time ago. I'll be talking about more game design kind of clients in the coming devlogs, and boy do I have lots of cool stuff that I've been itching to implement. Please subscribe or wish this my game if you're interested. And I hope you have a great day. Bye bye!